Today I'm showing you how you can use Burai in Hatch Client. Here it is. I've got a separate tutorial on how you can actually download this as well as inject it, which I will link right down in the description below. Anyways, let's get in. Here we are inside of Minecraft and immediately with this injected, you'll see a few things and don't worry, I'll show you how you can optionally remove these later as well if you don't want them to be there. Anyways, um, first off, at the very top left, we have a small, small hack menu um, where you can where you will later be able to see hacks you have enabled. Then underneath that, you have your current FPS, um, of which I have around 470, which I'm not sure how accurate that is exactly, and if it is, then I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, you have your clicks per second, left is left mouse button, and right is right mouse button, and you also have your ping, as well as the time passed in ticks in the world you are in, as well as the blocks per second, that you are traveling as you can see. Then in the bottom left, you'll be able to see all the keys um, you press, as well as your left mouse button and right mouse button. Anyways, um, to open up the hack menu, you want to press on the insert key. This is the key that says insert on it, or INS, or screen link is sometimes as well. Yeah, so if you don't have an insert key, it might be the screen link or print screen key. Just like that. And in this menu, you'll be able to see every single hack that there is available. By clicking on them, they will automatically be enabled. As you can see, I have now enabled Rainbow Sky. There you are. Um, I can open this up and close it as well with the insert key. Um, if it is this brighter um, white, that means it has been enabled. So as you can see right now, the HUD and the click GUI are actually enabled. So um, by disabling the click GUI that is that screen, it'll disappear as you guys saw. And um, as you can see, if I disable the HUD, um, all that random stuff on my screen is going to go away. Now, an additional way to open up the Click UI, for example, for people who have maybe a 60% keyboard, or if you can't find the insert key, what you can do is open up the chat and type in dot bind, then click GUI just like that and then any key you want as you can see I already did it up here I can bind it to F because it's nice and close to my WASD um, but you can basically bind it to anything and as you can see when I now click on F it is going to open this up now as you can see over here you can also actually bind specific keys to any hacks in the menu you want now obviously there are too many hacks over here to be able to you know um, bind everything but let's, for example, look at auto sprint. Let's say I use auto sprint a lot and I really, really want to bind it to a key. What I can do is use the same command as earlier. We do dot bind and then the name of the hack, which in this case is auto sprint. There we go. Um, it's not actually going to work if you type it incorrectly, so you do need to watch out for that. And then you can choose any key you want. As you can see, I already earlier here did. G so we can do G as well and as you can see the keybind of auto sprint is now G so every time that I press on G that is going to turn on so as you can see now every time I regularly walk I am going to sprint now as you can see behind me Brian is in early phases of development which means, which means you may encounter some bugs from time to time if you do feel free to leave those in their official discord server which I will link in the description as well as my Discord server, you know, I wouldn't mind you joining that at all. You know, feel free to join my Discord. Um, link is in the description, as I said. As I was also saying, you can submit bug reports through their Discord and let them know if you encounter any specific issues. Anyways, um, there is actually also another command, and that is dot .unbind. So let's just uh, head into the hack menu here and uh, say we've bound the auto sprint to the G key, right? Um, then what we can do is open up the chat and type dot unbind and then auto sp auto sprint there we go g and then auto sprint will now no longer be available with the g key right 
Um, something also cool that is possible is actually binding multiple things to the same key, which means that they will all open up, well, all happen at the same time, which it could allow for some cool combinations if you wish. Now, um, you can also see that there are actually pluses on the side of all these hacks, and that is actually for a pretty good reason. As you can see, you can right click on these and change options. So let's take the nuker for example. What that does is, um, I mean I can show you over here, basically this. And um, I can open this up in the click GUI and I can for example increase the radius, um, decrease the radius and turn off auto destroy as well. Turn on vein miner. Um, as you can see, um, yeah, basically that's how that works. And now surprisingly enough, um, a lot more of these have actual options than you think. Anyways, uh, that was basically that in terms of learning how Orion works. If you have any more further questions or stuff like that, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. For right now though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.